What's up, Razmanites? Direct to YouTube upload today, of course, because it is a sports video. So, before I get started, want to remind you, of course, that this program is sponsored by Handy Enterprises Inc., your productivity and communication specialist. Make sure you check out the YouTube videos I do for the company and all of the other company contact information down below to see what we're all about. I want to also say congratulations to my Cincinnati Reds. Couldn't put this in the title because the title of Welcome to the Jungle is so long, but yeah, congratulations to my Cincinnati Reds who yesterday clinched the National League Central Division Championship became the first team this year to clinch a division in the major leagues. So very, very happy and elated. Can't wait for the postseason to begin. This team, I told you guys when I did the season preview, this team is something special, and I can't wait. And I will figure out a way to do playoff coverage. I haven't quite figured it out yet because... Baseball games are going to be so late at night that I can't really do immediate reactions, but it might just be a case of waking up every morning throughout the playoffs and, and talking about the game the best I can. So we'll see what happens there. And finally, I want to say that I want to dedicate this episode to the legend Steve Schrabel. Steve Sable, sorry, who is the president of NFL Films for many, many years and is the son of the founder of NFL Films. He died at the age of 64, I think it was, or 62 this past week. And he is responsible for so many of the great things about the NFL that we're all accustomed to now, the slow-mo replays, all the camera angles, all that great stuff. So, moment of silence for Steve, and then we'll actually begin talking about the game. May he rest in peace, and may his family find peace at this time of tragedy. All right. Man, what a crazy game this was against the Washington Redskins. Shout out to my boy Scott Chill Pilgrim, 1138. If y'all were wondering what happened to the interview with him that was supposed to air Friday on the radio show, the raw footage unfortunately just was not usable. Scott needs to get a hold of a better mic. I think we're going to sit down this weekend and try to get his appearance done. I think that's what he said, like September 30th, which I believe is this weekend. So, yeah, we're going to sit down and try to get that done. And Scott, if you just want to do a regular chat after today's game, we should definitely do that. Because I can hear you well enough. It just seems like the recording doesn't want to work with your microphone. But anyway, I want to give him a shout out and semi dedicate this episode to him because he is a Redskins fan. And to me, the Redskins, they couldn't stop the Bengals receivers. But that's the only reason that we got a 38 to 31 victory this week because, man. What an unbelievably crazy game this was. I haven't seen a football game like this with so much back and forth action in real life in a long, long time. I mean, it started crazy, and you knew that this was going to be a wild one. Because the Bengals' first offensive play of the game, they come out in the Wildcat, and rookie receiver Mohamed Sanu completes a 72-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver A.J. Green for the touchdown, making it 7 or 6 nothing Cincinnati, and of course, 7 nothing with the extra point. And then, on the very next possession, or excuse me, the next possession, two possessions later, sorry, 
two possessions later, the Redskins defense forced a punt, or excuse me, the Bengals defense forces a punt. The Redskins special teams does a great job of downing a punt. So we're inside the two-yard line and backed up in our own end zone. And Andy Dalton is desperately trying to get the ball out of the end zone. He's trying to hit the out receiver, Ben Jarvis Green Ellis. He doesn't even see that his tight end, Jermaine Gresham, is wide open. And the Redskins deflect the ball, intercept it, and end up with six points right away. So with like 11 minutes and 38 seconds into the first quarter, it's already 7-7. That's how crazy this game was, and the scoring just would not stop. Bengals got scores from Jermaine Gresham, Andrew Hawkins, Armand Benz, Mike Nugent on a field goal, and then the Redskins' offense just wouldn't die. RG3 just came alive in the second half and their offense would not die. I can't remember who all scored what when. It was that insanely crazy of a game. So my hat's off to the 2-1 and one Cincinnati Bengals. Happy, I'm very happy to have a victory after a wild, wild game like this. And my hat's off to the Washington Redskins. They have a great, great future ahead of them with Robert Griffin the third. That was an insane, insane football game. And oh, I, one thing I did remember to mention before I end the episode, Terrence Newman, the Bengals cornerback, tried to cost us the game twice with dumb penalties. First he almost touches the ball and costs us a touchback on a punt. And then he blatantly hits Robert Griffin in the third out of bounds unprotected in the fourth quarter and cost us a huge penalty that almost cost us the game. If the Redskins, who had burned all three of their timeouts, had still had a timeout at that point, we would have been in some serious trouble. So, yeah, just an insanely awesome game. Loved every second of it. Kudos to both teams. I will see you all on Tuesday with a review of the Hunger Games. This is reality according to the Razman and Razman style. It's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.